Assalamualaikum class. So today we're going to study cells, tissues, and organs. And I want you uh, kids to make a title page first. Usme aap ye title likhenge cells, tissues, and organs. And you can draw um, a cell and aap uh, day or date likhenge. So now I'm going to read this whole paragraph and then I'll explain it and I'll make sure ki aap koi doubt na ho. And as you can see, side where you have some basic facts, they're just interesting stuff that you can read and it will just make everything easier for you. So we're going to start now. So the first thing we're going to learn, it's about cells. So you need to know what cells are. And according to this paragraph, it says all organisms, plants and animals are made up of tiny units called cells. Although there are many different types of cells, all of which have different jobs, most cells have certain features in common. The cell membrane controls what goes into and out of the cell. Cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance which makes up most of the cell in both plants and animals. The cytoplasm contains a number of small structures called organelles. These do several things. The mitochondria produces energy for the cell. Others called ribosomes make proteins. They receive chemical messages from the nucleus which tell them exactly which proteins to make. The nucleus contains a substance called DNA. The nucleus carries the plants for the plant or animal the cell will grow into or be part of. It controls the kinds of chemicals the cell makes and how much of each of them is produced. It also controls how and when the cell divides. A plant or animal cell without a nucleus cannot reproduce. So now the first thing is how do you define a cell, right? So, Abolinge cell is a single unit or a block that makes up an organism, right? Aapke body mein million se bhi zyada cells hain. And these cells, they either have their own function, they're providing you with energy, they're utilizing your food, or they all come together and they're forming tissues, right? So, now, tissue ke paas bhi bahut functions hain. There are different types of tissues in your body. This is like extra information for you to understand everything that I'm explaining right now better. But just a tissue, it protects your skin, it covers your muscle, right? So you have to remember the difference between um, a tissue and an organ, right? So tissue is when a number of cells come together and they make a tissue. Uh, number of cells come together and they make a tissue, right? And they don't have like a specific function. Whereas or, or the organs, usme tissues come together and they have a specific function, right? So now we'll uh, discuss um, that cell ke under kya nazar aega, right? Uh, as we read through this, uh, you know, first I want you guys to understand, first I want you kids to understand that there are two types of cells. There is animal cell and there is plant cell and obviously um, hum humans ki body mein, there's uh, animal cell and even animals mein, there's animal cell and plants mein, aapko sort of plant cell milega, right? So a typical jo animal cell, jo a typical cell hai, I have a good picture to explain. A typical cell mein aapko ye sab nazar aega. So you will uh, see cytoplasm, this, uh, that's the jelly-like substance that you can see in light blue. And a cell membrane nazar aega, that's in dark blue, it's surrounding the cytoplasm. and it's giving a shape to the cell. It's not a definite shape. Koi khas shape nahi hai. It's, you won't say it's round, ya it's oval, ya it's square. It's just like a shape, irregular, right? So, a normal cell mein aapko cytoplasm nazar aega, nucleus nazar aega, cell membrane nazar aega. Nucleus is really important for the cell. It gives signals to the cell ki ab ab ye protein banao, ab ab ye signal do, ab ab uh, energy uh, form karein, right and cell brain just like surrounds the cell and makes sure ki usme cell mein kya aa raha hai kya ja raha hai right this is sodium aa raha hai yaan phir um, water is entering or leaving the cell so that's my explanation for cell and what are the typical uh, features you will find in a cell right uske baad now we're going to read um about cells so Although both plant and animal cells normally have a cell membrane, cytoplasm, and a nucleus, there are some features found in plant cells that are not present in animal cells. So, this paragraph is not a There's a way to distinguish, uh, there's a way to distinguish, distinguish between an animal cell and a plant cell because they're not the same thing, right? So, a plant cell is different from 
an animal cell and uske bhi uh, obviously different features in it which is why it's different so plant cells have a cell wall as well as a cell membrane the cell wall is made up of material called cellulose and it helps to keep the plant cell rigid okay so this is what that's saying and then we have um plant cell has a vacuole which is a bag like structure in the center of the cytoplasm it takes up most of the space inside the cell and contains a solution of strand salts this solution is called cell sap the cell sap pushes the cytoplasm up against the cell wall to keep the cell rigid so just to explain it right now um i'll refer to the picture later but basically aapko apni plant cell mein aapko ek to um ek uh, cell wall milega and aapko vacuum milega and these are two things jo aapko animal cell mein nahi milta right and then there's chloroplast which contains the green pigment chlorophyll so chloroplast is like a structure aur uske andar aapko green pigment milta hai called chlorophyll just not to confuse chloroplast and chlorophyll right So chlorophyll is used by plants in photosynthesis the process by which plants make their own food so ye aapko bata raha hai ki chloroplast ke andar aapko chlorophyll milta hai jiska uh, rang jo hai it's green it's a pigment aur chlorophyll is used by plants uh, apna food banane ke liye and the process jisse uh, plants food banate hain us process ka naam hai photosynthesis right so it is important to remember that unlike many plants plants do not have a skeleton they keep their shape because cell wall and the cell sap in the vacuoles keep the cells rigid so basically what this uh, paragraph is telling you this is the cell um, plant cell that we are referring to so a plant cell as you can see um, outside of the cell membrane uski ek aur layer hoti hai outside the cell membrane right so cell membrane ke pehle ek aur layer hogi and it's going to call cell wall and it's going to be made up of a material called cellulose and it's impermeable so there's nothing that can go inside or outside of the cell and then there's a cell membrane pressed up against the cell wall right on uske baad aapko ek permanent vacuum nazar aa raha hai jo white color ka hai and they're showing you that a plant cell like any other cell has a nucleus it has a cytoplasm and then they're showing you chloroplast jiske andar chlorophyll hai and that's used for photosynthesis which is making food only in plants right so that's for the plant cell uske baad now we're going to see structures of animal cell so like i told you plant and animal cells are different and there are specific ways jisse aap bata sakte hain ki acha ye cell plant hai aur ye animal hai to pehle mein humne uh, read kiya ki acha plant cell ke ye features hain so apart from having the same features which is plant or animal cell ke jo same features hain wo hai cytoplasm cell membrane and nucleus right ye teen features hain that, that are jo same hai and uske baad different features kya hai plant cell mein aapko milega cell wall with cellulose aapko permanent vacuum milega and aapko chloroplast milega then ab hum kar rahe animal cell mein to animal cell mein difference ye hai ki aapko sirf cell membrane milega there's no cell wall and ek aur feature hai ki aapko chloroplast nahi milega and large vacuum ka uh, feature hai ki aapko chote vacuoles milenge and they won't uh, they're not permanent wo hamesha nahi hote kabhi kabhi hote hain kabhi nahi hote kabhi hote hain aur phir chale jate hain sahi hai so that difference and that's where we end our lecture now for your homework i want you kids to uh, apart from making a title page and writing your date and day i want you uh, kids to highlight the words that you found difficult in this lecture so i have already um i have already marked a few difficult words for you but if there are any other words jo aapko mushkil lage do underline them and do write them down in notebook three times and jo maine uh, underline kiye hue you can you are supposed to write them three times right so the first word is organism the second word is substance and the third word is structure then the fourth word is ribosomes So now I'm going to ask you kids what's what are ribosomes right I explained it really well ribosomes are organelles and they make proteins in the cell right and then the other word is reproduce and then the other word is cellulose so now I'm going to ask you what is cellulose so that's the material that makes a cell wall in a plant cell right and this ke baad the other word i marked was vacuole which is a bag like structure 
in plant cells it's made up of um, sugar and salts and the whole uh, solution is called cell sap the other word is cell sap and but another word is rigid and the last word is photosynthesis which is the process by which plants make their own food and the last word is skeleton so if there are any other words that you found difficult do underline them and write them in your notebook three times apart from these words and do read this lecture again and refer to it. And if there's any doubt, wholly listening to this um, listening to this lecture and reading the book will be helpful. And that's it. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next lex next lecture and give you more homework. Thank you.